This TA Tech Tip is going to show you how to perform Coxmer's transformation using TRIO's software. The Coxmer's rule is an empirical relationship that has been found to be of great value in rheology. It was originally observed by Cox and Merz that for many polymeric systems, correspondence occurred between the steady shear viscosity plotted against shear rate and the magnitude of complex viscosity plotted against angular frequency. If applied correctly, the Coxmer's rule can be of a great value in polymer rheology. For many polymeric systems, the steady shear viscosity is difficult to measure at high shear rates because of sample fracture or secondary flows. Data obtained from oscillatory experiments are usually more reliable. In this TA Tech Tip, I'm going to show you how to perform the Coxmer's transformation using our TRIO's software. Open the frequency sweep data from TRIO software. Plot complex viscosity against angular frequency. Then right click your mouse on the file name, choose Transformations, Cox MERS. Now you have generated a new data file with the same file name with extension dash CM. When you look at this data file, you can see that actually the complex viscosity has been converted to shear viscosity and the angular frequency has been converted to shear rate. Right now, the Coxmer's rule has been found to work for most of polymer melts and concentrated semi-diluted solutions, but it fails for most dispersions, suspensions, cross-linked, or gelled systems. To check and see if Coxmer's is working for your sample, you may consider perform a steady state flow test until the sample fails. Then overlay this flow curve with your Coxmer's transformed frequency sweep curve. If you can get a reasonable overlay, then it means you are most likely able to use Coxmer's for your sample.